Hello, welcome to Couch Time with Sonia. I am Sonia Lowe, the Embrace Coach, and today we are talking about veganism. I know you wonder what is that and you want to know more about it. Today we are at Vegside Market and we thank Vegside Market for allowing us to come into their space, but you're going to get to find out more about it. So grab a cup of coffee, grab tea, and we'll be right back. authentic, real, and exposed. Becoming bare is a continual and intentional process that requires courage and perseverance. Life has a way of tainting the realities of who we really are. From the moment we are born, others place their expectations upon us and we strive to become someone we were never created to be. To experience a fulfilling life of purpose, we must discover our bare self. Becoming bear begins with a decision. Will you choose to live in the familiarity of chaos? Or will you elect to live in the freedom of becoming your bare self? Experience freedom and healing. Embrace becoming bear. Welcome back. I am sitting here with the beautiful Dominique Tsai, who is actually the founder, the owner of Veg Side Market. And I'm just honored. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to come interview you, talk to you, but truly to dispel a whole lot of myths that are out there. Absolutely, Welcome to Couch Time with Absolutely. Sonia. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am, mm -hmm. definitely. Well, my first question, you already know where I'm going, mm -hmm. is why veganism? why what is your story so I, I do get that question a lot and I've been vegan for about two and a half years mm -hmm. and the reason that I became vegan had to do with the three reasons that most people point to mine is the combination of all three so first it's the animals um, I avoid animal cruelty in all ways that I can uh, the second is the environment, so I want to do my part to contributing to not destroying the only planet that we have. Yes. yes. <laughs> and three, my health. So if everything that I'm doing can contribute to a longer, um, healthier life, then why not? That is so awesome. You know, usually when I ask that question, mm -hmm. why veganism, mm -hmm. usually the first thing I hear someone say is all oh, because I'm trying to take care of my health mm -hmm. or I'm trying to lose weight. Right. <laughs> it was so amazing to hear you say all three components, which mm -hmm. really in all in reality is the totality of a human saying, I want to be the best human yes. that I can be. Yes, wow. absolutely. And all of it has created um, a transition mm -hmm. that has grown me as an individual mm -hmm. and affected me spiritually, mentally, and physically. So. I, I set out to do it not necessarily because of myself, but mm -hmm. I have benefited from it. Wow, oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So there's a story. So what is your story? Because you know, here at Couch Town with Sonia, we talk about stories. Because yes. everybody has a story, mm -hmm. and their story matters. Right. But it can also affect and touch our viewers, and I truly believe that. So what is your story, Dominique? Related to becoming vegan? Yes. So. I took baby steps in the beginning, and I didn't even think that veganism was what I was, uh, what the ultimate goal was. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an ultimate goal. Um, I started saying, you know what, I want less chemicals in my house. Let me use this green detergent. Or, no, I don't want fish scales on my eyes making my <laughs> eyeshadow glittery, so let me change all my makeup to something that's plant-based. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> so it was 
those little things, I mean, and I say little things, but those were huge in and of themselves, but it was, it was little pieces, but not touching my food. So in my mind, I was like, I'm not changing what I eat. Mm-hmm. I love steak. I'm going to die eating steak and eggs, and this is what I do. They're my favorite. People would ask, oh, I'd never be vegan. I, when mm-hmm. people say that to me, I laugh because I said it myself. Wow. I'd never be vegan. I could mm-hmm. never give this up. But I was willing to do all the other things. Right. But when I learned about um, mass production and factory farming, mm-hmm. Um, and then even the waste materials from factory farming and mm-hmm. how it disproportionately affects lower socioeconomic uh, people and neighborhoods mm-hmm. around the farms. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's no way that I can support these industries, mm-hmm. you know. I so. hear humanitarian. <laughs> you know, just really I see that you are a true humanitarian because what you're doing is really not just affecting you, no. but it's also affecting others around you. So you began Veg Side Market. Yes. So why? Tell me what what even gave you the idea, and then really why did you start it in Houston, Texas? Accessibility. Mm. When I became vegan and I started trying to figure out what do I eat, or, or better yet, where do I get it from, mm-hmm. whatever that is, mm-hmm. um, it was a struggle. I thought, oh, I'm going to end up eating salads all day, but to tell you the truth, I barely eat salad. Yes, I have definitely <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> but it's, it is a last resort it looks option. Wonderful. <laughs> Your food looks wonderful. Yes. So when I figured out what Houston had to offer, mm-hmm. I had to go to five different stores to get groceries for my family. So I, w- I was going to Whole Foods and Sprouts and Kroger's and Target and Walmart just to get three items here and two items there and four items there outside of produce, Mm -hmm. you know, and with the basics, which you can totally get by on basics and have a full plant-based diet doing beans and rice and produce, whole foods. Mm -hmm. But I'm a busy mom. Right, right. And I like foods of convenience. And something that was familiar for my family was to have things like vegan chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. Right. So I decided that, you know what, I'll start carrying these things. I'll Mm -hmm. figure out how to buy these things in bulk. And if there's anybody else in Houston in the Mm -hmm. vegan community or curious, you know, then they can just grab them from me. Mm -hmm. And so it started with maybe five or six products and setting up a little website and place your order online. And I'll call you and you can come to my office and pick it up. I'll bring your order out to your car. And it was no big deal, strictly to have Mm -hmm. convenience. Mm -hmm. Convenience for you, but you saw a problem. Yes. And you came up with a solution. Because of course, when there's a problem, Mm -hmm. there's always a solution. (laughs) And you became the solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. That is awesome in itself. Because how many other vegans live in Houston, Texas? Oh gosh, there's (laughs) thousands, thousands and thousands. Wow. And, And even people who aren't strictly vegan, Mm -hmm. they're vegetarian, or they're, like I said, exploring a plant-based diet, maybe for health reasons, and it could be temporary, or maybe they go on a fast a few times a year, Mm -hmm. and they don't realize that only because they do it a few times a year, they've never seen certain products that they could be eating during those times, and so it's just, it's been fun to explore that market, Mm -hmm. and to bring these specialty products to Houston where they aren't otherwise available and to see people's faces when they walk in and they find something familiar like jerky yeah they get really happy (laughs) i got excited sausage you know right so well i got the opportunity to actually be here for your grand opening and of course we we have to allow the viewers to see some of this behind the scenes so as they're watching the behind the scenes of your grand opening people from all walks of life walking in and just excited to know that there was a veg side market yes. that literally was going to answer all of their problems mm-hmm. or even if you didn't have it in the store mm-hmm. where you could get it right and exactly. I think that was beautiful as well but it was such an amazing and fun event thank so you. thank you for being here mm-hmm. so exciting but there's so much more guys there's so much more to I should I say veganism and we're going to talk about it more when we come back We'll be right back. 
We're TND Tax Service LLC. We offer a full service of business from tax preparation, tax planning, business bookkeeping, business coaching, company setup, payroll, and money management, along with credit restoration. We are highly trained with proven ability to communicate well with diverse groups, individuals, corporations, and small businesses. We will get the job done. Contact us today at 281 286-6568 or we can also be reached at any social media. If you're starting a business, we can help you get the job done. At TND Tax Service, our motto is, when you start off right, you end up right. Welcome back. Of course, you know, right before we took the break, we were talking about veganism. But I know that there are many people that are watching that are probably going, but I would like to try becoming vegan. But it's an easy transition if you have the right coach. Absolutely, right? yes. So tell me a little bit about what you do for people that are looking for a way to transition and how you help them. So with resources like this vegan starter kit that mm -hmm. PETA and other organizations put out similar resources, I give these to my customers, mm -hmm. complimentary. So when they awesome. leave, they, have, they walk away with something that they can use. It has step-by-step -step guide. There's some um, recipes in there mm -hmm. and different articles. So that's really helpful. There are websites like a Veganuary, so January, but starting mm. to be vegan and, you know. So they help you with Love emails it. every day, mm -hmm. especially during the month of January. Uh, start out the new year with some tips mm -hmm. and ways to help you transition. I'm always available. People message me on Facebook and on Instagram asking questions. The customers come in and they ask questions, wow. and I'm always willing to help. I love the fact that you make yourself accessible because if someone is sitting here going, I really want to change my lifestyle mm -hmm. because, is that right, Dominique? It's not just for a moment. It's not just for a month or two. It truly is a lifestyle change. Absolutely. Whole <laughs> lifestyle change. And then you heard her say spiritually, you heard her say physically, mm -hmm. that it was truly touching every area of her life. Yes. So I love the fact that you truly take on a whole person mm -hmm. to help them become whole yes. in veganism, yes. which I think is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. So what encouraging words would you leave with our viewers just on this part? Because there's so much more to really about veganism that you've got to learn more about. But what would you leave with our viewers as far as if you're trying to transition to becoming vegan? I would say to look at it from the standpoint of compassion. Oh, compassion mm. for others, compassion for animals, compassion for the planet, and compassion for yourself. Wow. So take it one step at a time. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. It's all a learning process. Enjoy the journey. Mm, I love that. Mm -hmm. Man, Just to, did you hear her say, do not try to do it all at once? And she said, it's a journey. So enjoy the journey. Of course, you see right here down below on the screen, you see her information. And please reach out to Dominique. She has a passion for helping people to learn more about veganism, but not just that, to truly change their life in that arena as well. So we will be right back because we're gonna talk about the other side of veganism, and you're gonna love what you're about to hear. We'll be right back. If you would like to be a guest or advertise your business on Couch Time with Sonia, I would love to hear from you. Email me, visit couchtimewithsonia.com. Welcome back. So of course now you've heard all about veganism. You've heard about veg side market. Now we're gonna to talk to Dominique about something that's new, that's exciting, and for all of those who are living a vegan lifestyle, this is for you and even those who don't even know mm -hmm. about a vegan lifestyle, it's for you as well. So there is a new brand that has started. You see that smile? That's what I love. A new brand that has started mm -hmm. that is truly become something exciting, a vision that you've had, mm -hmm. and it is called Vegan Bay. Yes. <laughs> I want you to tell us what is Vegan Bay? How did Vegan Bay come about? And then let's talk about the different elements that are a part of Vegan Bay. 
So Vegan Bay has become already more than I anticipated. It started with an idea that I just wanted to have merchandise. I wanted to have merchandise connected to a blog. Mm. So I would post blog mm -hmm. um, articles or blog and I'd have a tab on my website, buy some shirts with cute things. No big deal, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, my business partner was, what? You just want merchandise? You just want t-shirts? No, mm -hmm. you want a clothing line. And I was like, oh, I do? Maybe I do. <laughs> So we got together and came up with different designs, mm -hmm. and we've got sweatshirts and t-shirts, of course, but um, denim jackets Cute. and sweatshirt dresses and things like that. And there's so much more to come in the future. So what I hear is you are a visionary, and definitely know that. Visionaries see visionaries. Yes. But it doesn't, isn't it true that it always takes someone else sometimes to pull out the full vision Absolutely. in us? Absolutely. I yeah. mean, you stay in your bubble and you make your lists and you have your dreams, you can do your boards and all of those mm -hmm. things. But once you have another person or a team of people that you're bouncing those ideas off mm -hmm. of, then mm -hmm. they push you to really express what, what is it that you really want? Right. You know, let's not scratch the surface. Right. Skim the top. Right. Like, what do you really want mm -hmm. out of this? Speaking thing. into your life to make mm -hmm. sure that you didn't shrink Yes. to just do the minimal. Exactly. Oh my gosh, I'm so exactly. excited. Yes. So I'm excited about this clothing line, yes. which of course our viewers get the opportunity to see mm -hmm. some of the clothing items, mm -hmm. but there's more. Yes. So tell us about the more. So one of the other things that I love and really gives me an opportunity to express myself artistically is music. Mm. Uh, so, Vegan Bay Studios <laughs> was born out of that idea. Mm -hmm. So we have a studio that we're opening where people can come and rent space and have their podcasts recorded. They can also come and do like vocals mm -hmm. and engineering and all kinds of stuff. Full studio. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. my gosh. And then is it true that you are a singer as well? Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. In a former life. <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing how yes. things just come back around yes. in yes. their due season. Yes. When absolutely. it's time. Absolutely. So I just think that's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. But the Vegan Bay clothing mm -hmm. line, mm -hmm. all vegan. Yes. Yes. All the materials, mm -hmm. cotton, denim, things like so. No leathers, no silks. This is um, absolutely no amazing. cashmere's or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So we're very particular, and a lot of the um, products that we use, the manufacturers of the products that we use, mm -hmm. are eco-friendly in the way that they produce. The screen printer that we use is eco-friendly oh. in the way that they have they do um, their production. Right. So we're mindful, right, uh, about every step of the process, not just um, that it's cute. Exactly. And says vegan. <laughs> Right. And it is cute. Yes. It is cute. <laughs> but then also, I we are sitting right now in the midst of Vegan Bay Studios. Yes. And it is absolutely beautiful. Of course, you're going to get the opportunity to see a little tour quickly right here. Mm -hmm. But I'm loving the it, the creative space. Yes. It has su such an ambiance. Mm -hmm. But also, I, I'm looking at all of the material. Yes. Everything. The only, am I, am I right? The only vegan studio in Houston, Texas? As far as I know, yes. <laughs> so we are the first. Oh my gosh. Vegan, eco-friendly materials, as you can see, mostly woods, uh, textiles, mm -hmm. um, leatherettes, mm -hmm. um, no wool or silk rugs, mm -hmm. things like that. So. What I'm loving, and I want to, I want definitely want to speak this over you, is just because God is right now nudging me to say this over you, is you are not afraid of being the first. You are not afraid of being a trailblazer, and I commend you for that, because being a trailblazer sometimes is a is a lonely walk for the at the beginning. Yes. But it's a beautiful thing to see you have a dream in your heart and step and say, okay, God, here we go. I think that is absolutely beautiful. Talk about the power of your faith actually coming together with all of this. So I went through a transition, mm -hmm. like I said, mm -hmm. becoming vegan, 
a spiritual journey, mm-hmm. just becoming closer to um, my source and mm-hmm. my why, mm-hmm. the reasons why I do the things that I do, and compassion being mm-hmm. at the helm of all the yes. decision making. So that brought me to a different place mm-hmm. than, than where I was to begin with. And I never thought that it would, mm-hmm. but being there opened my eyes to other ways that I could impact the people around me mm-hmm. um, by showing them what veganism is with not just food, yes, but just the way that you walk mm-hmm. and live your life. Absolutely beautiful. What I love is that you, you're not in a box. And guys, this is what's beautiful is we, we can't put our faith in a box. Mm-hmm. You know, we've got to be willing to, okay, you know what? Where are you taking me? Mm-hmm. I'm willing to follow. And you did just that. Yeah. So, okay, so now we've talked about Vegan Bay mm-hmm. clothing line. We've yes. talked about Vegan Bay Studios. Yes. But we're not even finished. There's even more. So come on, tell me what's next. Okay, so the other company that mm-hmm. we have is Vegans in the Mix. And that has more to do with hosting events Mm. for vegans and curious. Right. So it's not restrictive at all. We want to appeal to everyone and just show them what fun you can have Mm -hmm. and what kind of food you can enjoy. You're so inclusive. Yes. And that's what I really Mm notice. You're so inclusive. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is all. You are there to teach and educate. But you're also loving and bringing in those who may not know a thing about veganism. So Vegans in the Mix, so so that's events, and does Vegans in the Mix travel to different (laughs) cities, different states? Yes. So tell me a little bit about that. So if you visit our Instagram page, you'll see that we repost events and food services like restaurants and food trucks from all over the country, because we want everyone to know what's going on, Mm -hmm. you know, be in the mix. Right. So we also host what we call Sunday Fun Day, Mm -hmm. and it's themed, and we've had one in Houston, we have one coming up in Las Vegas, we're going to New Orleans, so 2020 is going to (laughs) be so fun. (laughs) I love the fact that you said, you know, I'm not going to just stay in my home base. Mm -hmm. So that allows other people to get to experience the Vegan Bay brand. Yes. Oh, this is so, so exciting. So I guess what I would ask and leave the entire audience with is you have have created really what I kind of call a loving ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And it's a loving ecosystem that allows people to step in and grow. Yes. And grow. So that is absolutely beautiful in itself. So what would you say if someone says, I'm ready to step in and I'm ready to start this new journey? Give our viewers what we're going to leave them with. What words of encouragement would you give them? (laughs) I don't even know where to go with that. (laughs) Well, this is what I would say to you. You are an amazing coach. You have educated and taught me things that Mm -hmm. I did not know. Mm -hmm. So if I'm sitting and I'm coming to you to say, I'm ready, Dominique. I'm ready to start this new journey. I want to start my new year off with a whole new view, with a whole new season. What would you tell me? What is your why? Mm -hmm. I love it. If your why is not large enough, and this is what she shared with me, it's what I truly believe deep down in my heart, If your why is not large enough and your why does not convict you to your core, then you might want to go back to the drawing board and say, what is my true reason of why I want to become a vegan? I love the fact that it's more than just food. It is truly about a lifestyle. Change your lifestyle. Whatever that may be, it may not be vegan for you. It may be something else. But whatever that something else is for you, Make sure your why stands out and that it touches you to the core. We'll be right back.
I truly hope you have enjoyed this segment. This segment was such an educational segment, fun, but educational. Veganism, what it is and what it is not, has been so great. But I want you to make sure that you follow everything about the brand. So I want to thank Dominique side. I thank you so much for just coming on to Couch Time with Sonia, sharing your heart with us. But I want you to be able to follow every brand that she spoke of. So there is Veg Side Market. You can follow on social media. There's also Vegan Bay LLC. And then there's also Vegans in the Mix. You have got to follow because there's so many great things they are doing. And of course, get educated. Find out when they're coming to a city near you because they are traveling in 2020 and it is going to be great. So I thank you for being with me today, participating in this new episode. But of course, nothing can happen with Couch Time with Sonia if it wasn't for you. We do everything for you. So our educational programs, everything we do out in the community is can't happen unless you help us. So what we're asking is that you'll please take time to donate to the cause. Please go to oneembrace.org and donate so that we can remain on the Now Network and all of our other platforms and so that we can continue doing what we love to do and that is love on and embrace each and every one of you. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being with me. But also remember, same time, same place. I'll see you next week. God bless you.